what defines the city is this relation with the other, which is different from you in various aspects of your life, and that you will negotiate permanently a familiarity. We actually rebuilt our Brazilian cities that didn't have automobiles in the past. We rebuilt these cities for the automobiles. There isn't a discussion that subsidizes the formulation of mobility policy in the city. You end up shooting to all sides. The curious thing is that you have several levels of displacement flow in the same crossing. There's a tunnel passing under the viaduct. You got the public park and also sidewalk for the people. Originally it was a river and in the 90s it turns into a park. You can't talk about sustainable cities, for example, without talking about accessibility. We got 30,000 kilometers of sidewalks in the city and only 500 kilometers have accessibility. There's at least 30 million Brazilian people with some sort of disability. So, they are invisible Brazilian. Mobility is be free, is freedom. In 2004, when I talked about bikes, 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 I was really treated as crazy. You see a highly dynamic society, uh, a society creating places like this to discuss these mobility questions. Changing the culture to reorganize our traffic system or mobility to turn it more equitable, fairer. With less energy consumption, less pollution, more quality of life to everyone and this is possible only if the society mobilizes itself. And for this happen, we got to have discussions like this, have to send it to the mayor, have to stay on it, because if there's not this politics will to execute it, we won't leave the place we are standing.